Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Barnabas, a missionary who accompanied St. Paul in proclaiming the gospel of Jesus. Let us pray in this Mass that like him, we too may be faithful in our mission of bringing Jesus to the world. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness. And let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believe turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that disciples were first called Christians. Now, there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manayan, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nation his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have sinned the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Please all stand. And teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always 
until the end of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons without cost you have received without cost you are to give do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick the laborer deserves his keep Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, although he was not officially a member of the twelve apostles of Jesus, Saint Barnabas whose memorial we celebrate today, was given the title Apostle because he worked closely with the Apostles, especially with St. Paul. In our first reading today, we heard that as the Christians gathered, the Holy Spirit himself spoke and said, Set apart Barnabas and Paul for the mission, for the work that they are intended to do. Saint Barnabas was chosen by the Lord in order to do mission, especially with Saint Paul. The original name of Barnabas was Joseph. It was the apostles who gave him the name Barnabas. And the name Barnabas means son of encouragement. And he lived up to his name. He was an encourager. In fact, Barnabas was the one who introduced Paul to the apostles. The apostles were doubtful about Paul because Paul was a persecutor of Christians. It was Barnabas who gave a good word to the apostles so that they could accept Paul. Nagdududa kasi ang mga apostol, baka paraan lamang ito ni Pablo para makapasok siya sa mga Kristiyano at nagpapanggap lamang siyang nananampalataya na rin kay Jesus. Pero dahil sa salita ni Barnabas, dahil sa pagpapakilala ni Barnabas, tinanggap ng mga apostoles si Pablo. 
when Paul needed someone to support him, Barnabas was there to give encouragement and support. In our first reading today, we also heard that Barnabas went to Antioch. And when he arrived in Antioch, he saw the grace of God at work among the believers. And he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord. Barnabas, true to his name, was an encourager. My dear brothers and sisters, our world, our society needs more Barnabas. In a world and in a society where there is so much judgment, when we enjoy to gossip about each other, when we discourage and dampen the spirits of one another, when there is so much character assassination, when instead of building each other, we destroy, instead of supporting, we discourage, we need Barnabas. We need to be a Barnabas. We need to encourage each other. Bakit nga ba mas madaling i-discourage ang kapwa kaysa sa i-encourage sila? Our world has already so many critics, but very few encouragers. Be a Barnabas. Encourage others. By our simple words and simple acts, of encouragement. Minsan yung mga simpleng bagay at simpleng salita, malaki ang nagagawa. A simple and charitable remark or a simple and charitable action, even just a simple and charitable joke, could destroy someone's day could dampen one's spirit, could discourage someone who is striving to give their best. Minsan nagsisikap naman yung tao, pero dahil sa hindi magandang biro o dahil sa paghuhusga, nasisiraan na sila ng loob. But in the same manner, a simple charitable word, a simple charitable act could do so much in encouraging others. Yung mga simpleng ginagawa natin para ipakita ang ating suporta, malaki ang bagay sa isang taong nagsisikap na magpakabuti at ibigay ang kanyang best. My dear brothers and sisters, be a Barnabas. Encourage someone today. Please all stand. Let us pray to God the Father who wants all persons to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide the Pope, the bishops, and priests in promoting the cause of the mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that missionaries may proclaim Christ to the world, not by power or prestige, but by humble service 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That love of God and neighbor may inspire the lay faithful to collaborate in the missionary tasks of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christians may realize their responsibility of spreading the good news of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young men and women may have the courage to answer the call of Christ and to serve in the missionary apostolate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, it is your will that your kingdom be proclaimed and established everywhere. Through the intercession of St. Barnabas, grant fruitfulness to our missionary endeavor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. soul stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Barnabas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.